you need to be over here. Okay. All right. So there's issues on your classwork and your homework. And we need to talk about those things. And we're talking about graphing the slope intercept form. Now there's a couple of you that's doing really well. Okay? That's doing really well on that issue. Alright? But there are some that's still struggling. And we've got to address that today. So what I thought we'd do, since we have time, we're going to revisit graphing and slope intercept form. Okay? We're going to revisit that. I'm going to go back to a five minute lecture, maybe ten minutes, it's according to how long it takes us, it's according to how many questions you have. Those of you that are, that are struggling, this is your chance to ask questions as I'm going along, okay? And I welcome your questions, you need to ask them now, okay? So if you have questions about identifying your y-intercept, identifying your slope, graphing, you know, plotting that point for y-intercept, and then using your rise over run from there, Okay, if you have those questions, now the time to ask them. All right? So, yes. Yes. Now, what we want to do, and what I want you to do for me, is get your book out so you can follow along. Okay? And I want you to turn the page as quickly as possible so we can get started. Uh, 248. Okay? 248. Yes. 248. Okay? Follow along with me on page 248. All right. Now, on the board you'll see, now everybody should have notes of this, but on the board you'll see y equals mx plus b. And you'll see I've labeled, what is the m? What is my m? It's my slope, okay? And my b, if you will, is my y-intercept. Okay? Which, when you pull that y-intercept, when we're about to write a problem here, when you pull that y-intercept out to put it in an ordered pair, you should be writing 0b, whatever's in that b's spot, okay? So for instance, if we have um, y equals 3x plus 4, Tristan, what I, what I want you to do for me now is identify for me y-intercept and identify for me slope. Be the zero and the y would be the four. Okay, so right here, what Tristan's saying is, is zero and four is my y-intercept as an ordered pair. Okay, and what is my slope? The uh, 3x over one. Okay, we wouldn't put the x, we just put the three, because the m is just right here in front of the x. <clears throat> so we're put, like you just said, three over one for my slope. And the reason we're putting 3 over 1 is so we can do the change in y over the change in x, or what we also call rise over run, right? Okay? So, Tiana, when I go to graph this, alright, what's the first thing I do to graph this slope intercept form equation? Your y-intercept. My y-intercept, right? Start from zero, go up four. My, and we all should know this is my x and this is my y, right? We should know that by now. That, that's something you guys have been over this year for several weeks, plotting points on the graph and those kind of things. But stuff or, or concepts you went over last year, yeah. <coughs> and maybe even the year before. <coughs> Excuse me. So zero, four, up four. Now, from there, what do I do? Uh -oh, okay, so I didn't graph, I didn't get my graph quite correct. We're going to move up a little bit, and we're going to change in y or rise 3, correct? Because it's a positive slope. 1, 2, 3, and to the right one. And what you said? To the right one. Alright? So when we, when we draw this graph, If you didn't have any of this here, if all this was gone and all you had was this graph, and, number, and it said number one, is, my, is your slope, identify your slope, whether it's positive, negative, zero, undefined. Just looking at the graph, is it positive? Yes. Because why? It's going up. Going up from where? From top. Where's it going up from? You're, you're correct, it is positive. And it's going up or increasing, but, but where? How do we identify that? 
Somebody? It's above the line or something? No. Remember we talked about this. It's increasing from left to right like we read. If from left to right the slope is increasing, then it's possible. Okay, you should be able to identify that. If from left to right the slope is descending or decreasing, then it's negative. Right, class? Mm -hmm. If my line is drawn in this manner, horizontal, what is my slope? No. Zero. zero. Alright? This would be zero slope. Okay? If my line was drawn in a vertical manner, what is my undefined? This would be undefined. Okay? And you guys need to have those in your notes. If you don't already, which you should, you need to have that in your notes to where you know a horizontal line has a slope of zero. Okay? This would be, this line would be x, I mean, excuse me, this line horizontal would be y equals something. y equals 3 or, what would we say negative 3? You know, that would be y equals negative 3 or something like that. This would be x equals 5. Okay, that would be an example of that. So x equals 5 would be an vertic uh, undefined vertical line. Okay? y equals negative 3 would be a horizontal with a zero slope. Okay? Now, let's do one more together. They won't give you one to do yourselves. If we got 3x minus 3y equals 12, okay, what do we do here? Minus 3 from the 12. Okay, we got to, we got to what you're saying, we got to move the 3x? Mm -hmm. And why are we moving the 3x? Because we got to get y by itself, we got to get it in this form, right? Slope intercept form, correct? Mm -hmm. All right? And this is not in that form. So we cannot, the way this is presented to us right now, we can't identify slope, we can't identify y-intercept, right? Right? So, the first thing I want to do is, like Tiana mentioned, we've got to move the 3x. Is this 3x positive or negative? You'll positive. It's positive. So for us to move it, inverse operation, subtract. what do we have to do? Subtract. we got to subtract it. Okay? From both sides, because what I do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay? This cancels out. And what some of you have a problem with, we've got to be very careful. What do I bring down here? The negative 3y. Good job. The negative 3y. We don't just bring down 3y. Okay? We've got to remember the sign that's in front of that value. Okay? Now, what happens right here? Can I combine those? No. no. Why can't I combine them? They're not like terms. They're not like terms. So how would I write that? You put the variable first, and then the x plus 12. Exactly. Now, am I done? No. 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 Divide by negative 3. I got to divide by negative 3 on both sides, right? This gives me y equals what? 1. Hang on, what now? 1. 1x. So you just write it as x, correct? I don't, you don't see it in the book going on x, okay? We just write x, okay? Because negative divided by negative is, okay? And what happens here? Minus 12. Minus 4. Divide 12 by negative 3, and it's minus 4, okay? Now, somebody tell me, without me calling on someone, what is my y-intercept here? I actually, hang on. Rodney, what is my y-intercept? 4. 4. Is it just 4 or is it negative 4? Good job. So how would I write that? Zero negative four. That's right. Exactly right. <coughs> Zero negative four. Okay? My y-intercept. Now what is my slope? X. X or? One. One. Okay? And if I want to write that in a rise over run situation or format, how would I write that? One over one. One over one. Okay? Now, when I want to go graph that, I've got all the tools I need to graph. I've got one point, and I've got my rise over run. So if I've got one ordered pair, and I've got slope, I can finish the graph, right? No problem. So 0, negative 4, how do I 
attempt this. Uh, Brianna. Okay, zero for X. I'm going to go down four for Y, negative four. Okay, and from there, what do I do? Up one and then go over one. Over which way? Left or right. To the right, because it's positive. Okay, all right. We draw our graph. We could keep going. We could we could do a couple more plot a couple more points if we wanted to. You don't have to. It's up to you. If you feel comfortable drawing that graph with just two points, then draw away. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you one that you can work on for a few minutes. I'm gonna come around and look. Um, so I want you to work this one out. got to remember, is it an MX plus B form? Is it slope intercept form? Yeah. And if it's not, you've got to put it there. You've got to solve for the Y. Okay, so do that. And then I want you to identify Y intercept, identify your slope, and then I want you to graph. Okay?